the Vanguard newspaper. And understandably, that uh, meeting uh, between the president and the 36 governors is like the most paramount, as we will be seeing, in security. That's the lead story on the Vanguard. Chinobu governors agree on state police to work with governors, National Assembly to put mechanism to engendered state police, and uh, the president orders NSA, IGP, DSS to deal with foodstuff hoarders. There are many riders there, and uh, it has been reflected in the report you just saw. Ahead of the Edo governorship election, your decision not final, uh, Ganduji tells Uzodima's primary election committee and uh, Fubara's selective implementation of agreement putting ravers on edge. Quickly now to the Daily Independent uh, regarding the rising insecurity. Well, that's the slant of the lead story. President Tinubu governors agree to consider state police brainstorm on ways to boost food production and FG to train forest rangers vows no food importation. FG also begins enforcement of 12 years minimum age for apprenticeship. OB calls for independent auditors to resolve 3.5 billion Naira Labour Party scandal, external forces using LP members to destabilize uh, the party. That's according to Abu Redi. Nice, diverting 3.5 billion Naira. On the nation, Tinubu governors agree on state police war on food crisis states get nod to strengthen forest guards in battle against kidnappers and bandits and there are uh, resolutions on what governors should do among which are payment of arrears of workers and pensioners salaries and making welfare prosperity of people a priority cbn asks governor uh, banks i should say to withhold International oil companies export proceeds for 90 days and banks induce customers to convert dollar in account to Naira. These are some of the stories on the front page of the nation. The Leadership Friday is also leading with this latest resolution or latest list of resolutions to tackle uh, insecurity as agreed by uh, President Tinubu and governors. Of course, they opt for state police and uh, the rule of food importation to tackle hardship. In the meantime, food headline inflation spike to 35.4%, 29.9% as well. And support, according to the Leadership Friday, swells for parliamentary system being advocated by a crop of lawmakers at the House of uh, Representatives. Finally with me is this Nigeria. 9.6 billion Naira PNID scam. $9.6 billion PNID scam, I, I beg your pardon. Interpol arrest fleeing Britain in Italy. And uh, other stories there, we will not allow illegal settlements, markets, hamper road construction. That's according to FCTA. SANU, NASU, uh, top um, associations at, across the nation's tertiary institutions kick as FG plans to pay ASU withheld four months' salaries. Ibrahim. Yes, and very quickly, Daily Trust is the first. Insecurity, Tinubu government, uh, Tinubu governors, mall state police. They want to kill Nigeria finally, ex AIGF in Alegu. Uh, it's a dangerous move, says Professor Jibrin Ibrahim. The president rules out food importation. Uh, parents of students abroad battle to pay fees. Truck owners to stop lifting petrol on Monday. That's about it for Daily Trust. Next is the blueprint. Federal government. Uh, federal government states mall state police to secure over 230 million Nigerians. Bandits kill over 60 vigilante members, civilians in Zamfara uh, on the bottom strip amid, ri amidst rising cost of living. Nigeria's inflation surges to 29.9% in January. Uh, that's about it for the Blueprint newspaper. Next is the First News newspaper. Amid hunger. Tinubu says no plan for price control board food importation. Order security agencies to apprehend merchants holding foodstuffs. Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger confirm plan to, conf, uh, to form new confederation. Police arrest two prophets. Uh, police arrest two prophets. Others for killing women for money ritual in Ogun. 
Labour Party's 3.5 billion Naira scandal. OB speaks up, renders presidential campaign accounts as party chairman challenges suspended treasurer to prove fraud allegation. Next is the Punch newspaper. OPS rejects food imports, backs clamp down on hoarders. Food imports will kill local production, says private sector, as Tinubu governors rule out importation. A uh, man in custody for allegedly killing neighbor over goats and tanker operators threatened to stop petrol lifting uh, on Monday. Next is Salient Times. MFLA documents used to pay election observers $6.2 million, not from my office. Boss Mustafa testifies. More hardship for Nigerians as prices of rice, beans, gari, others spike by 50%. 60 years retirement age, concerned staff of FMC Abekuta rights head of service, calls for removal of Professor Musa Olomo. And then sleeping driver rams into truck, kills five inches uh, 12 on Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Next is the Guardian newspaper. On supporting behavior, abandoned facilities dot landscape, retired sports potential growth. Federal government, federal government governors partner on state police food crisis. Blame states for hardship faced by citizens. NNPC total, total energies. JV achieves zero routine gas flare, and food prices uh, food price crisis worsens misery as inflation rises by 7.48 percent under President Tinubu. Next is the Daily Times. Fuel crisis looms as tanker owners set to stop lifting petrol on Monday. Tinubu gives in on state police, blames orders for food crisis. Man knocks IMF on electricity subsidy removal. Prices soar as food inflation tips at 35 percent and federal government to settle $2.16 billion outstanding debt to gas producers.